guys welcome to the video number 275 and uh, in this video uh, we're going to talk about that if you have the date in your database uh, in your table uh, then how actually you can make the reports using the pivot right so if you are familiar with my channel then you you must be knowing that we have already actually uploaded two videos part one and part two where i have talked about the pivots basics and then in the next video i have tried to you know uh, answer a couple of questions and we learned that how to basically make the reports out of the pivot right so the video number 274 and 273 is for you and uh, I will I would like to take just 10 seconds this is the playlist where you can go ahead and you know 42 playlists are created for the Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA just scroll it down and you would see all the videos here on every subject we have all the videos the, with the mixture of you know the basic and the intermediate and advanced level right so in this video we're going to talk about how to work with the date I'm using the guys same data which I have used in the for the you know previous two videos uh, just to be you know on the on the for the comfort zone you can connect with this database very easily if you have watched the previous two videos so in this now we are going to answer the four questions right so the first thing which I want is how to create the date by summary so this is really you know pretty easy uh, let me first delete uh, these sheets right so we are not going to talk about here that how to make the pivots because as I said we have already uploaded the videos on that we are directly going to you know uh, are directly going to answer these questions and we're directly going to i am directly going to tell you that how to work with the dates and this is going to be really very short video but very interesting and very powerful so what is the date wise summary first of all we want to create it so the date wise summary for if i want to create it i go to the insert and i click on the pivot table and table range and i'm going to select the table so this is the table i select the table and i press ok right now as you know the date wise is quite easy you can drag that you know date here and um, uh, there's no month basically I don't need any month so this is um, simply going to be the date and I'm going to click on the call answer let's say if you want the call answer right you can go to the design and you can change this report layout to the table form so that the row label should be changed to the header now this we have already done what is so special thing about it nothing actually nothing right this is simply a data which is telling you date wise but the next question if you have a look the next question which is it says that the month wise summary we need so now the month wise summary if you need then uh, possibly many of you would be you know trying to change the you know trying to insert the one more header here and maybe you would like to you know go ahead with some this kind of a stuff that i let let us change the month of this right so then you can further go ahead and change this to jan and then you know because if it is first then it, it is a jan month if it, it would be two then it is has to be feb so we can use the formulas but there's no need to do that actually the point is right so i'm not really going to tell you about that and if you if you are really interested in knowing all these date functions please go ahead and watch the excel date uh, functions playlist right you would understand there i have uploaded the videos on the date and the time how to how to handle them basically so in the pivot we have a feature which is called the group so when you right click on this you get to see here group option so when you click on the group option this is what exactly you see now you can group these dates you know you can group these based on the months on the days on the quarters on the years so if i just simply like to you know keep it only the month so i select the month and rest of the options i'm going to uncheck right so i press ok and you see that all the dates are converted into months pretty cool isn't it right so let me now undo it now let's say if we guess in the next question you have that you also need the quarter wise performance then in the next question you have the year with the quarter and the date summary so basically i'm going to combine everything i would like to make it a very short video because this is really very cool and very easy to understand very you know short thing you just need to click right click and group now what do you want i want the quarter i want the year so year wise quarter wise month wise day wise everything you have so press ok and there we go guys you see that this is really amazing right you have the year here so if you have 2015 2014 you would see the two you know those years as well and how beautifully you know it has actually bifurcated this segregated this into the quarters and then further into the months and the date right you can even you know click on this just to if you want to hide these options and in fact there's no need to click on these uh, you know plus signs one by one because it is going to take a lot of time you can do one thing you can go in the uh, this i think the analyze option somewhere here and uh, i believe uh, you can um, click on this i think the group field let me see uh, no that's not the uh, there is a actually you know option here uh, with the help of which you can 
collapse and uh, expand the things right let me have a look here maybe we would have the options here uh, grand totals report layout blank rows um, no it's not there it must be in the analyze uh, yeah it's, it's there drill down and drill up so what exactly you need to do uh, basically um, I'm gonna click here let's say um, let me just first convert it back you know into this the original situation so let's just hit on this plus sign and uh, all right so now we got a, we have got everything now what we need is um, we uh, need to click here this is called the expand field and this is called the collapse field right I'm using the 2016 so it took you know uh, it took a while for me to basically <laughs> look at these things but I think in the Excel 2010 and 2007 they are actually written they have written there I think the expand fields anyways that's fine I'm just going to um, select this option uh, this uh, the Jan let's say and uh, let's click here now when you click here uh, nothing happens if I click here you see that this works right so this is basically called the option collapse and this is called the expand so if I want to expand I can click here and all the you know things are going to be expand and if I click my if I you know click inside this quarter and if I do the same stuff now this is how the pivot would look like so basically it depends upon the selection you know whatever you select that will be a good uh, you know pivot is going to action on those things so if I want them back I can click back on the expand right so similarly for this 2016 as well if I click here this is how the pivot table look like right so you maybe you can you know put the arrow here um, you can you you can give the in the kind of the message uh, that for example you can um, just simply put this arrow and you know you can write here that uh, use the option uh, in the design view you know to expand the table right instead of using this plus sign because this plus sign is really very time consuming process though you can click on that I mean if I go ahead and click on that this plus sign, everything would come back but this is not really so easy to operate right so rather than that in the analyze option by the way I'm using 2016 so you see here analyze but in your case if you're using the lower version guys you won't see the analyze so there must be some other I think option called layout I'm not really I don't exactly remember but it's just to the you know right side uh, uh, just left to the design so I don't think so there will be any challenge the moment you click on that you would see all these options the good thing is that these options are as it is they are really not changed much right so I click here and from here I can collapse and I can expand the things but anyways we would like to keep it uh, I just want that the date should not come so I keep my cursor here and now we're gonna you know click on this collapse and there we go so this is the pivot which you can make right now one thing which is very important for you when you work with the you know the pivot for example let me quickly undo it everything now all right so let's come back to the table now this was your original table now I'm going to tell you this because from my personal experience I have faced this issue and I really googled a lot but I you know I think it took days for me right to find it out that what exactly is happening i'm going to talk about the error which can come right now let's say uh, in your table if you have a date format as you can see my machine uh, it says mmdd and yyyy right so in your case if if you are going against the format let's say here instead of uh, 20th of march which is the state what i did is i written the 20 here and i written the 3 here it might be a type of mistake who knows right and I press enter right now according to the Excel this is the invalid date because we have a format called month date and year so now when when you co come back here and when you refresh the table let's say I'm, I'm going to refresh the table now once you ref refresh the table you see that this is not really moved to the right side right now why the other values are moved to the right side because dates are considered as number and if you don't have any idea about it please go ahead and watch the video the playlist excel date and time you know uh, just search for that excel date functions and i have explained there that how when we actually want to work with the date like how we work with the date how they are stored in the excel and how we can change their properties but it is very clear that because the dates are numbers they are aligned to the right and the text 
this number is considered as a text so obviously and let's say you fail to notice this that there is something wrong in this cell right maybe let's say if i make this in the center now nobody can you know even see that there is some error right so if they send you this file and they ask you that you know just uh, give us the uh, report in the form of the months and the year and then you you know go as per the process and you just click on the group and this is what you will get guys cannot group that selection because of the reason the dates can't be grouped if you are going to make them text right we, we we cannot work on that so you will have to find that that where exactly is the problem right now that's again a one important task is a challenge because if you have a data let's say in the millions then going by on you know every cell and checking that whether it is a data or not it's really not possible practically right so we can do one thing we can use our is number function because dates are always stored as number so if this function is going to give me the result called true by selecting this e2 then that means it is going to be you know a date it is going to be a number and this is what exactly i want so you need to find out the fault that where we have the fault now the moment i drag this you would get to see all the truth except for this fault and then you can you know simply go ahead and pick up this date and obviously it makes a sense that why we are getting the error okay and the, another thing is if you don't want to use this function you can simply select this entire range and you can go to the format cell which is control one the shortcut game i'm telling you and you just like to change this to let's say this date press ok the moment you do that and let me double click here and you see that all the dates are changed except for this so this is the another way so there are actually and numerous ways of you know finding it out that what is wrong now you know what we need to do so obviously you would go ahead and you correct the date so i'm going to make it 03 and this is going to be 20 i press enter now this is automatically converted to march 20 2016 and this is also coming as true right so anyways let me delete this we don't need that now to come back you know what you need to do is just refresh the table the moment you refresh the table and now if you're gonna click on the group it's again not working uh just a second guys let me just refresh it again and right click and group and there we go the group option is working so now you can make the quarter wise performance month wise performance whatever you want to do right and this is going to work right so this is a very important feature remember this if you have problem in the grouping then either it could be a space problem or it is going to be a you know this issue issue with the date pattern it should be correct as per your machine right so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, be a part of this channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe i will be back with some more exciting stuff very soon in the pivots till then you take yourself and have a great learning thank you so much for watching guys